As the commander of a cavalry unit, John Buford had to keep watch for enemy positions, placing lookouts at strategic points to determine the strengths and weaknesses of the enemy. Unlike many generals who were caught up in promoting themselves, Buford was strictly focused on doing his job. The devotion of his men allowed Buford to be blunt and honest in response to anything they had to say. So when one of his officers was overly confident about holding his position on the following day, this is how Buford responded. No, you won't. You'll have to fight like the devil to hold your own. Like most generals under fire, and while he inspired confidence, Buford was anxious, if not downright scared. Before the first day's fighting began, Buford maneuvered his outnumbered men into positions that would buy time for Union General Reynolds to counterattack with a force larger than his, confuse the enemy, and allow the Union Army time to slow down the enemy advance. Buford was at a real disadvantage. Some say he didn't have enough men, didn't have enough horses, didn't have enough guns, didn't have enough of anything to put up a real fight. We do know that both his men and his horses were exhausted, and there was no availability of food to feed them. Yet despite this genuine lack of resources, Buford was able to hold his own, get the job done, and provided the first powerful link in a chain of decisions that would eventually turn the tide in favor of the Union Army. In his official report of the battle, this is what John Buford said. A heavy task was before us, and shall all remember with pride that at Gettysburg we did our country much service. Emphasize quality. What matters is not how much you have, but how much you do with what you have. Buford proved that not having enough can be enough. Not having more of what you need forces you to focus like a laser on what can lead you to your goal. In 1975, Marva Collins of Chicago received national recognition as a miracle worker with inner city black children because she was able to make scholars out of troublesome youths, not with inferior classroom conditions that suggested a genuine lack of money, but with a desire to influence children with a far more positive outlook on the great things they can accomplish. She and Buford were effective because they worked with the quality they possessed and ignored the quantity they lacked. Be a team player. By being himself with no desire for fame, Buford understood that he was part of a larger team, the Union Army. As a team leader, your unglamorous effort and simple focus can be responsible for influencing your team to win. <laughs>